Hello YouTube, Big Dog Reeves again, coming at you, show you my new pistol. I had it for a while, just ain't got around to doing a video on it. I probably got, uh, say, 200 rounds or so through it. And had a couple hiccups with it, but that's, you know, it's tight pistol like that, you're going to have a few hiccups to break it in. Just failed to eject. Slide lock it kind of just nick it right there and stop. It wouldn't eject the last round. So, but other than that, it's been it's been good. I think the last time I shot, I put like 50 rounds through it and didn't have a single problem out of it. It's got your nice sights. Oh, this is a stainless uh, TLE slash RL2. Front cock consideration, you've got your rail system here for a light or laser. Uh, I did some mods to it. I got the uh, VZ grips. Uh, it does have, I got to put a new Wilson Combat stainless mainspring housing in it. You know, Kimber comes with them plastic ones. And uh, front serrations. Nice pistol, well built, all steel. Uh, what else? I see. I put a. Let's see. Let me take it. Break it down here for you. I got the Wilson Combat plug there for it, and I got. Uh, Wilson Combat Flat Wire Spring and Guide Rod. Shorter model. This one comes with a full length guide rod. I really like these shorter ones better. Easier to take down, clean. I don't think it affects accuracy much, but I could be wrong. But upgraded that. And the plug. Got the same bushing on it. It is the 45. Did a little buffing on the barrel on the feed ramp. Did a little bit. And it is, I guess, what they call the Series 70 or Series 80. It ain't got the safety doohickey in there, whatever it's called. I like that part too. But them VZ grips are nice. You got the custom screws with it too. Them are nice, man. Nice grips. I love them. You're talking about getting a good hold on that rascal, boy. Get a good hold on that rascal. Let's put her back together. Yeah, I got rid of my that gum first camber I had. It was a tactical custom too. And I wish I'd have never got rid of that thing. Well, I got a pretty good trade out of it. But I had to have me another camber, so I went and I wanted all stainless steel. That tactical too, it had the alloy frame, which made it a little lighter, but Uh, I want the all stainless jobs, what I want. Got the last. That's what I'm after. I figured to get that single uh, guide rod. Beautiful trigger on that rascal boy. I'm talking. Sweet trigger. I mean, it ain't little nothing. 
Don't know what it is. I ain't got a gauge or nothing, but that is a sweet trigger. Beautiful gun. I love it. Had it for a little while. Like I said, it took me a while to do a video on it. Wilson Combat Mags. You cannot go wrong with Wilson Combat. So I got the steel mainspring housing of, uh, from Wilson. I got the mags. A shorter guide rod. VZ grips. Of course, I got a Tac Pro, Ken Pro Tac mag, I mean. I got one of them two at eight rounders. That was an eight rounder. And it come with a regular, not too awful good, regular clip. Just comes with one. But it ain't got the round off nose there for the, or on the follower, so I don't like that too much. But overall, it's a nice gun. I love it. Like I said, nice sights. Gotta have the night sights. Pretty gun. Ain't too high. Ain't too cheap either. But, but I love it. Camber. I like the Cambers though. I like my first Camber. And, and I like this one so far. Alright, fellas. If you got any questions, comments. If you like the video, let me give you a little top view on that thing. Give you a little bit of a close up here. I ain't got one of them high def cameras, so. Ugh. But, I liked it. Had to get me one of them high def cameras, though. Good looking gun, man. I just wanted an all steel one, so that's what I did. That's what I got. Happy with it. Kimber Stainless TLE RL2. I like it. I hope you liked it. If you did, please hit like. And this is Big Dog Reeves, and I'm out. I'm gone.